some of you might have followed our previous vlogs, we were did a morning session at Umkamaz. After a quick lunch, we set off to put the bigger rods to test, just north of Caradine River. All the guys were ready to get a bit of a stronger or bigger pull. As previously that week, there were some sandies around as well as some brown skates. So the hope was high to get a proper tussle on these new test and tournament rods. Ray made sure we only had the freshest bait with some bay squid and freshly caught mackerel. This good bait here for hopefully <laughs> a grunter, a stumpy, but a brown skate's gonna jump on it. Sometimes I think Ray ate some of the bait. Sure, that's all I can say. I know it's gonna jump on it. So let's quickly get this together. So what we've got here is a 7-0 ring soy with a bit of foam on it, the low density foam, not the high density foam. We don't want the bait to fly it up, it must sit on the bottom. We've got a lovely little bay squid with big eyes, making a long sausage bait. I'm going to take the top of it and there's lots of ways of doing it. This is a bay squid, there's no rules to a bay squid. Stick it on the top like that. Lining it up above the eyes, like so, and behind it. I personally think there's more smell and blood when I do it this way than if you actually put the eyes on the inside and they wrap it around. So what we're going to do is just try my style first. And remember one thing. Whatever I catch on this is not coming back into the water. It's coming home with me, except if it's a skate, which hopefully is not a skate. One stumpy, one for fauna, or a grunter, I'm very, very happy. And there we go, that's what the bait looks like at the end of the day. And with that lovely bay squid, it was only a matter of minutes. It is full of oil. While we were rigging up all the rods, Ray quickly baited up the guys and got them into the water. It looks terrible in the beginning, but at the end, you see what this thing looks like. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Lots and lots and lots and lots more cotton. Koki was second in line with the unbelievable mackerel bait, which Ray casted right onto the bank. Mike Pereira was also quick to get a bait into the water. And as expected, that little bay squid of motto quickly lured in a good fish. In South Africa, we fish rather unique to the rest of the world and put the tackle through a much better pace than most spots. The bigger fish we catch and the constant wading of gear under salt water really puts this tackle under pressure. And it's very useful for the guys from head office to first hand experience the way we fish here to ensure the best possible future improvements. Welcome nice giant guitar fish. Motto is first of this species. And after a quick couple of photos, it was released to fight another day. I encouraged Mata to release his own fish 
This forms big part of the experience and especially with your first of a species. At the same time, Robin's rod took off, which Mike Pereira put out for him. Now to Robin, this is not new. He's caught a couple of fish in South Africa when he comes out to test some gear. And with Ray providing the background excitement, this fish didn't take long to be landed. Also delighted with a new species on the list. A bareback black chested ray and the fish was a blue ray or a blue skate. Koki was also in on a fish. <laughs> so what we're doing now at the moment is testing out the new rods that we've got in. And we've got a big fish on. I don't know what it is. It could be a brown, could be a sandy. But the way that thing's pulling, I think it's only coat. The fish were really playing along. And with fresh bait like this, that unbelievable bait, it was only but a matter of time for everyone to get a proper hookup. This fish seemed a bit bigger than the one Motto got and gave Koki a good taste of the species we target here. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Are you getting tired yet? <laughs> This is exactly what we want the rods to test. So everything lined up this afternoon. A nice size male giant guitar fish, or sand shark as we know it. The males are a lot stronger than the females, everyone would agree. That was more, one of the more successful days here on the south coast. We had a great afternoon here by Station Road at Ilobo, um, just next to the Carradine River, which is not far from here. And uh, we arrived here just after three, about a half past three, quarter to four. Uh, the objective was to, to get the two gentlemen from Japan, each a, a nice fish, and for Robin from, from England. And uh, it's Motto and Koki, both from Japan. And each of them now got a fish already and it hasn't even got dark. Now the fishing only gets better here when it gets dark and unfortunately we don't have the lights to back that up. But we'll take some photos, so uh, if we manage to get some more fish and take some photos, you'll see them straight after this. But thank you for joining us for this vlog and uh, if you're in the area, make sure you come over and throw you. Um, really nice area, bay squid got most of the bites, um, fresh mackerel got some bites. And that's about the base that went out, that, that got the bite. So it's mid-May, weird that there's still a lot of sandies, but the past week here, and that's why we're here, there's been a couple of sandies that came out here. Here and there, honeycomb. Um, there's Zambezis around, and then the gray sharks come wild in the dark. But this whole stretch, it's not just this beach, right up to, to probably Toti this time of the year, when the weather adds up like it, or, or lines up the way it, has been then those fish are in the area the sea is not too up it's nice nice looking the water it's about a one meter swell coming through here fairly clean water that's why night fishing works better but in general in this area for the gray sharks and stuff it works better so if in the area put a line in the water you'll be rewarded our words wasn't cold and koki got a good run for his money <laughs> this was just the beginning of what turned out a proper tussle 
and a great experience for our South African fish on this testing tackle. Unfortunately, this fish wasn't coming as quick as what the sun was going under. And we would have loved to show you more footage, but we got some of the photos at least. This turned out to be a really good size giant guitar fish or sand shark as we know it in South Africa. Well done Koki on a great catch. And I'm sure this is going to be a very memorable catch.